continue learning Hachzeik Musar with this incredible Hachzeik program, Shara B'Tachan, concluding another week, Baruch Hashem. We're a little bit more than a month into, about, I don't know, six weeks, I should say, into Shara B'Tachan. This is the 40th day, Vesiyat Adishmaya. I'm sure everyone knows the number 40. I'm sure many people have seen incredible increases in their B'Tachan, in their reliance, in their day-to-day realizations that Hashem is there holding their hands. We pick it up in the article page 159, which now we change gears a little bit. Till now, the past few days, we've been discussing those who have a good job, or I shouldn't say good job, because it's subjective. They have a job. And then we spoke about what if they make more money, how do you deal with the excess, etc. Now, says the Chavis Alvavos, what about the opposite? What if you don't have money? Says Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar, Omima. It is, it is, it is fitting that someone should have talking with regarding his partner also. Even when, I should say even when, when the parnasa is not there, when one does not have the money. Hashem brought me into this world at a specific moment. At a specific time, he didn't bring me in a hundred years prior. He didn't wait for me to be alive in a hundred years from now. From now, who is who? He, God Himself, He's withholding my parnasa. But when it's the right time, He's going to give it to me. Because he knows what's best for me. Again, that critical ingredient that bitachan does not mean everything is going to be the way that I want it. No. Bitachan means everything will be the way that Hashem wants it. And we have our absolute reliance that he knows what's best for us. He put us in this precise moment in time in history. And he's going to take care of us. Continues Rabbeinu B'chayai. Someone who makes just, he scratches out a living, makes it just, barely gets by month to month. Nothing more than that which he needs for his food. He as well. What should he think in his heart and say? The same one that gave me mazayin. Nutrition from the time that I was eating from my mother, when a baby is nursing from his mother, the same Hashem that allows the baby to nurse from his mother, as much as I need in the day Kalkolasi, and the mountain nourish me, yoim yoim each and every day. Until what happened? Hashem decided, okay, it came a certain age. No longer do you nurse. No longer do you eat from mommy. Now what happens? Now you have to have other foods. He knew exactly how much milk I needed when I was nursed. And he didn't harm me from the fact that I didn't have certain amounts of milk. Meaning, no baby ever didn't have enough milk from nursing from its mother. Hashem knows how much it needs and how much to give to him. No less and no more. Cain, and similarly, of course, we parenthetically mentioned, this is more of a, um, I don't know, more of a, societal, conceptual, nowadays issue, or where this always was, unclear. But of course, there are some women that do have difficulties nursing, etc. But we're talking about in the, in the perfect design, that is the way Hashem created the human being, the body. Cain, similarly, Hashem is not going to harm me in the slightest. I had to go see a love. The fact that I have the exact amount I need till end of my days. This this line of Chavis Alvavos is really talking to just so many that one who has exactly what he needs and he starts to wonder how could I survive this way? Each month I'm just making it. I just have enough to pay the grocery bill. How could it be? So says When that little baby needs to eat, it goes to mommy. It doesn't really go. It's not moving at that stage of its life. It nurses from mommy as much as it needs. And that's it. There's no more milk. There's no less milk. As much as the baby needs each and every day. So too, Hashem provides us the amount that we need each and every day. And we continue over here. What do you get for this? You get schar. 
Kemoch Amar Abariel of Asinu Bemidbar, as Hashem has told our forefathers in the Bemidbar, Shinyan Amayu Kazeh, they were in a similar situation, they got man each and every day, just exactly what they needed. So what does Hashem say in Yermiyah? Go out and proclaim to all of Yerushalayim the famous words we say during the Yom Narayim. Hashem. Hashem proclaims lovingly remembering the chesen uraich, the kindness when we were young, Ahavas Kluyasayich, the love when we were a bride, that what? Lech Teich Acharai Bamidbar, that we followed a Kaddish Baruch Hu into the desert of Eretzloi Zarua, Hashem with such love that we had exactly what we needed and we were fine. So too, a person that has exactly what he needs should feel like, I'm getting my money every day. I go to my front door. The food from that day is there. People in their back of their minds feel, but wait, what will we do tomorrow? The same bond that Hashem gave you today, the same sustenance Hashem gave today, the same ability to pay for the grocery bill today will be there tomorrow as well. And finally, we conclude, Let's say, someone gets money in a way that he doesn't personally want. Or at a time that or a place he doesn't want. Or he gets from a certain person and not that he wants. Meaning, someone comes and hands him uh, uh, $20,000 and he feels, why do I have to be supported that way? Why can't I support myself, etc., etc.? Such a classical thought that so many have. And people want to design, I should be able to support myself like this. I should have my money like that. Says Rabbeinu Bechayai, what should he tell himself? Hashem, who created me in a specific way, a specific shape, a specific form, with qualities, with traits, without some other qualities, with some yes skills. Each person has his, is his own uh, snowflake, our own fingerprint. He did it for a specific role in this world. That same Hashem chose me. Chose for me that my income should come in this way and not in another way. And Hashem brought me into the world in this place. By two specific people, one's parents. Without anyone else in the world. Hashem chose me. That I should be in a specific country. A specific person. That is what is best for me. As David Amel teach us in Tilim, Hashem so at any moment that one feels, why am I getting my pranasa this way? Why do I have to perhaps come on to tzedakah? Why do I have to have a family member that's helping me out? Why do I have to get it this way? What do you mean? You know better than Hashem. Hashem put you in this place, in this time, with these qualities, in this precise, tailor-made, down to the microscopic details, and Hashem handed you your man. Hashem handed you your sustenance to that way. That means that is how Hashem determined it. Sadik Hashem, the whole derachah. That's the absolute and I'll pick up from here next week. Bisiyato Dishmayo.